Today, I am going to be hitting a home run with the greatest MLB player in every decade since the 1900s. First man up is going to be Honus Wagner, who I believe started his career in 1905. And this must be his only picture as a baseball player. This is the only picture I ever see him in an MLB The Show. So here we go. Honus Wagner is leading off right now. We are in the 1900s at Forbes Field. And I believe this is where the old Pittsburgh Pirates played their games. I'm going to try to match the stadiums the best I can with the time period that we're in and the players team that we are using. And listen, these home runs are not going to be on the hard difficulty. We're going to hit these home runs just to see what it would look like if we were back in the 1900s with Honus Wagner. That's got to be a long home run. I don't even know what the distance is in left field. That one just landed in the street. 443 feet for Honus Wagner. Honus Wagner, always one of my favorite Diamond Dynasty cards, though. He's got really good contact normally. Doesn't normally have that type of power, but on a lower difficulty, he just absolutely crushed one. I'll tell you what, there was no stack cast back when he played. The best player in the 1910s is Ty Cobb. And we had to go all the way back to MLB The Show 20 for this one because Ty Cobb no longer in MLB The Show. Kind of like Honus Wagner. Max contact against both sides, but solid power. So here we go with Ty Cobb. We are at... Detroit Tiger Stadium. We are not at the old Tiger Stadium because it's not in the game. I also couldn't find the other park that they used. There was no old Tiger Stadium, so we're just at the current one. Third time's got to be the charm here for Ty Cobb. That one down the middle, basically, but I missed it. Are we going to get lucky in it carry out? No, we're not. Come on, Ty Cobb, please. That one's caught to be gone. A perfect, perfect, no doubt power swing for Ty Cobb. Final time in MLB The Show here in MLB The Show 20. For the 1920s, who else could it be besides the great Bambino, Babe Ruth? Babe Ruth stepping up to the plate at Old Yankee Stadium. And that's got to be gone. The great Bambino. I think I actually missed it a little bit. It's off the wall. Babe Ruth is not even going to get a home run right here. Let's say 452 for Babe Ruth. That's my prediction. 452 feet at Old Yankee Stadium. Actually, I'm going to say 436. 435 just missed it. Babe Ruth goes 435 feet at Old Yankee Stadium. Did he even play at this type of Yankee Stadium? Was there like a Yankee Stadium before this? I got to look that up. We got back-to-back all-time Yankees for the 1930s. It's none other than Lou Gehrig. Lou Gehrig going to be in the same spot that Babe Ruth just hit that home run for the 20s. Babe Ruth... Now, Lou Gehrig, that one is blasted. Might be further than Babe Ruth's home run. Let's say 448 for Lou Gehrig. What do we got on that? 425 actually was shorter. But it's not a short home run by any means. 425 feet for Lou Gehrig here at Old Yankee Stadium. I have a feeling we're going to be seeing Yankee Stadium. We could amount more going forward. I didn't know we had to come back to MLB The Show 20 again this video. But here we are with Ted Williams. His final year in MLB The Show. Ted Williams, though, 99 overall with 99 stats pretty much across the board in the hitting categories. Except power against lefties, which is 90. Ted Williams back at Fenway Park. We need legends like Ted Williams and Ty Cobb and a lot more old MLB legends back in these MLB The Show games. Hopefully, for a few years moving forward, we can start getting some of these guys back. Come on, Ted, for the 40s here. For the 40s! But you have to hit to the deepest part of the ballpark. Perfect, perfect power swing! And it's over the monster! Wow, 432 feet. I did not expect that to get out. Hitting that to the deepest part of the ballpark here at Fenway. What a home run that was. I did not think that was getting out. And I perfect, perfect power swung that. Did not think that was going. Just barely got out over the monster in the seats. For the 1950s, it is Mickey Mantle, 99 overall. Back on him over the show, 23. 99 power against both sides. Switch-handed bat, really good in the field. He was a five-tool player. Just realize how many lefties we've been using in this video or switch-handed bats that bat from the left side. Mantle, Mickey Mantle. Did he beat Lou Gehrig? Did he beat Babe Ruth here at Old Yankee Stadium? How far did Mickey Mantle get that one? 427. So he beat Lou, didn't beat Babe. And let's see the replay here for the third time in this video at Old Yankee Stadium. And obviously with these easy difficulties, these perfect, perfect blasts are going to be going crazy. For the 1960s, it's hammering Hank Aaron, maybe the best hitter in this game with 99, everything across the board. Also amazing in the field and has really good speed too. This PCI is the size of the whole screen. 
And I'm still missing the pace pole, but Hank Aaron might just muscle that one out of here this time. Andy, Will, they're going to look up. They're going to kiss that one goodbye. Hank Aaron just muscled that one over. That was pathetic that I missed the PCI that bad. Hank Aaron, okay. If that ball's coming in that slow, I can understand how he muscled that one out of here. That is a zero mile per hour fastball on the slow-mo right there. But Hank Aaron, he got that one to go. Dead center field. I mean, you can't hit it straighter than Hank Aaron just hit it. Let's see where that lands. That is a perfect straight 400-something foot shot. For the 1970s, it's going to be catcher from the Cincinnati Reds. 99 overall Johnny Bench with 99 stats against lefties power-wise and contact-wise. Now you have guys like Joe Morgan, Pete Rose, Mr. October Reggie Jackson. You can go up for the 70s, but I'm going off this Bleach Report article that I have, and they're rating number one Johnny Bench for the 70s. Johnny Bench back in Cincinnati. I want to know who you would have put here for the 70s, though. Would you go Bench? Would you go Morgan? Would you go Reggie Jackson? Let me know in the comments down below. Who you would go for the best player of the 70s. But Johnny Bench is about to hit a monster shot off of you, Darvish. Even though he's better against lefties, he can still do it against righties. And we got an 0-2 count. Let's settle in right here. Johnny Bench, 0-2. Watch that one come in slowly, and Johnny Bench with a missile to left field. Perfect, perfect blast. 386 feet, 113 off the bat. For the 1980s, we have third baseman for the Philadelphia Phillies, one of the best third basemen of all time, Mike Schmidt. Mike Schmidt. I feel like Mike Schmidt's underrated a little bit. I could be crazy about that. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you think Mike Schmidt's underrated? Do you think he's overrated? Do you think he's properly rated? But I'll tell you this, he just hit a monster home run to center field 444 feet i think that's the furthest in the entire video i could be wrong crushing one center field might be the furthest home run of the video someone also let me know in the comments down below about that but i'm gonna go back and check too for the 1990s it's none other than the kid ken griffey jr 99 overall one of my favorite players of all time this game is missing a lot of older stadiums that we could be using like older seattle mariner stadium for griffey here i mean it doesn't really matter what stadium you put griffey at he's gonna hit home runs no matter what Right center field, Ken Griffey Jr., but I want to see a crazy no-doubt animation from Griffey. Let's see a nice no-doubt animation from Ken Griffey Jr. Ken Griffey Jr., there it is. One of the smoothest swings, if not the smoothest swing in the entire game. We are back on MLB The Show 22 for the final year of Albert Pujols being in MLB The Show for at least right now. He's only a 73 overall. Don't get his perfect 99 overall legend version that we will get someday when he's back in the game. Albert Pujols. Back here in MLB The Show 22 so we can hit this home run with Polhos. Let's do it right here. He got the 700 home runs. Let's give him one more to end off his career with. Okay, it was a perfect, perfect, but it's just a hit. This is also the first time we're actually getting to use a player in this video with their actual jersey of the team they've been on. And Polhos, no doubt about it. One more final home run. We need Polhos back in MLB The Show super soon as well. 412, 113 off the bat. Albert Polhos. Perfect, perfect. Destroyed that baseball. He got to do it against the lefty, which he was really good against, obviously, in his career, especially at the end. And that was a bullet. The best baseball player of the 2010s is obviously Mike Trout, who may one day go down as a top 10, maybe even five player of all time. Mike Trout can continue to add to his legacy, but the 2010s was his decade in the MLB. We just missed a home run with Trout. 8.6 feet outside the pole. Mike Trout, what a dominating decade he had in the 2010s. And is that one going to go? We're going to go outside the right field pole this time. And Trout off of Max Scherzer is going to hit a missile. Mike Trout doing Mike Trout things. Actually was a little late on it, but for sure, Mike Trout getting that one out of here, representing the 2010, and he can continue to add to his legacy. And representing the 2020s, this is a personal opinion, but I would go with Shohei Otani, who's already claimed one MVP in this decade, probably going to get his second, and the best baseball player in the world right now, currently 99 overall. For the 2020s decade so far, I'm going with Otani. Who would you go with? Let me know in the comments down below. Even as a Yankees fan, I can't even go with Judge or Trout. We are going with Shohei Otani and center field. 421 to end it. Otani sends that ball center field and sends this video out with a bang. That's going to do it for the video, everyone. If you enjoyed, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. In the comments down below, make sure to check out my other channels. And also make sure to follow me over on my social media. But I'll talk to you all in the next video. Peace.